Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf, for another fabulous episode. And I've got a, a towel here that's going to really help you out. And by the way, uh, this towel right here is for the Troops First Foundation. All right? So um, very, very important cause, uh, especially in the United States. So the... Um, I always like to have uh, a, a towel with me from the military just to remind me of how lucky I am to play a game like this and to be out in the beautiful sunshine and uh, enjoying uh, nature and good company and some great thrills, you know, firing golf balls all over the place. So the towel drill that we have today, very, very important, it is a super visual uh, to help you understand the difference between at the ball and through the ball. So if I was taking this towel and I want this, you know, I, I, put, I put some water, I soaked it a bit with water, and I want to take the water from the towel and I want to snap the water out there towards my target because ultimately what I want to do is take the ball and send it out there. So I've got my academy building in the distance right here with the back of the range at the Royal Quebec Golf Club. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the water from the towel here and I'm going to snap it out there towards the building. So we give it a little bit of tone and we snap it in that direction. So notice and, and on our premium channel, we have this session in spades with two angles and we have some nice slow motion you know, footage for you. So you really see the difference between at and through. Well, you'll get the idea here. So if I take this towel right now and I send it toward the ball. So notice what happens. I have to release early here in order for it to snap at the ball. So if your focus is on hitting the golf ball, well, this is what's going to be happening to you. That's why you get flippy in the wrists. That's why you tend to hit the ground before the ball. That's why your flights are extremely high or that's why you snap hook the ball. So many, many little um, uh, tidbits will occur when, uh, when you're throwing down there. But when you're throwing the, the snapping the towel out there, then everything changes. I actually have to drag the towel past the ball in order to get the water to spray over there. Now let's look at what that hap what happens to that in the golf swing. So if I take a wedge and I want to throw my energy at the ball. So I'm going to put the ball pretty centered. I'm going to put a nice neutral grip, club face, you know, square. So neutral and square dynamically is extremely open. So have a look at an oldie but goodie of mine called weak grip versus strong grip. With this grip, I've got no choice but to release at the ball unless I do a lot of fancy bowing of my wrist to square up the club so I can go toward the target. That's what you'll see Dustin Johnson and Brooks Kepka do. Uh, Graham McDowell's another example of that. Versus most guys on tour and gals have a much stronger grip. And that stronger grip, there's a neutral grip with a closed face and there's that strong grip with a square face. This or this is exactly the same thing. It's what allows me to collect the ball from here and release it out there towards the target. So if I'm over here and I throw my club toward the target, watch what happens in slow motion here. So I gather, fold hinge, throwing the club toward the target. So notice right about here, my hands are coming through and gravity is pulling very hard on the way down with my club. So notice my club is no longer closed. Now the ball gets collected properly on the face and gets compressed and it gets released out there towards my target. Versus if my club face is very neutral and my grip is neutral, then when I'm swinging that way, whoop, that club face is way too open. So now I'm going to have to throw in the towel. How about that for a pun? So I'm throwing in the towel. I'm throwing the towel at the ball. And what happens now is the second pendulum, 
have a look at uh, my video entitled golf the golf swing has two pendulums pendulum number one is the center of my sternal notch right here that's what i use for chipping and putting and pendulum number two is my wrist hinge so number one then the wrist hinge that's number two then i'm coming down and i want number two to release there but if my grip is not strong enough, I have to release at the bottom just to square it up. And many times I'm gonna to have to throw my body out in front of the ball to square it up. So now I'm smothering to the left. So I'll get that smother hook. I have to throw everything back here. I gotta scoop back here so I don't miss the ball because now I'm way out in front of the ball. Now I have to release pendulum number two and that's what puts a lot of loft on the club. So I got these super high shots that don't do, any, don't do me any good in the wind. I'll have a tendency to hit the ball to the right or I'll smother it. So I'm all over the place. So much better to close the face and then snap the towel towards the target. Well, what's that feel like? Well, you've played baseball or softball. Imagine I got, uh, I'm waiting for the pitch. So you notice my wrists are already set. And then I'm going to give it a nice swing into center field. So notice there's a nice pop that occurs where my right hand snaps under my left hand when the bat catches up with my hands. If that doesn't occur, I'll break my wrist. If I stay like that, I'm gonna break my lead wrist. So the lead wrist has to yield. And what we have right now is a, a supination, an outward rotation of the lead arm and a pronation, an inward rotation of the trail arm. That's what your arms are designed to do. They're designed to rotate. So I give it a good snap. That's me snapping my towel into center field. I'm not gonna wait for the ball to come all the way here and then snap it at the ball. So when you're looking down at the ball and all you see is a golf ball, and you say, wow, that neutral club, you know, neutral grip feels good. It's nice and relaxed. And that club face looks nice and square. But what you don't understand is that dynamically, it's an absolute dud. So when you now force to throw it at the ball, there's that snap. So we got this beautiful chicken wing, or we have these flippy wrists or a little bit of both. And in, in which I, I know that so many of you despise the look of that and and come to see me and say how do I get rid of that and that's where we go okay we need to close the face or strengthen the grip and then we need to throw the club out there toward the target so I'm throwing the club towards the target then I got to make a prediction when I throw the club toward the target I miss so look at my uh, predict solid contact and and um, and direction video, so predict solid contact and direction. So right now, if I throw, I top. Right now I throw, and I feel like I'm gonna cut the grass. The sole of the club is gonna shave grass in which the ball is gonna meet the center of the face and get collected. So I'm gonna snap my towel out there toward the target. And there you have it. Ball is super flush, super deep, Notice my divot comes out after the ball is struck. I can use the same piece of grass all the time because I'm collecting here and releasing out there towards the target, okay? So when you're snapping your towel, you're snapping your towel that way. So notice if somebody was over here and I wanted to nick them with the towel, I'd bring the towel over, then pull back and get the towel to snap over here. And that's exactly what you're trying to do. You're, you want the release to be out there. So be safe at home, you know, don't, don't hurt anybody with that towel, okay? Because it does stink. Enjoy that. We'll see you next week.